Turned out to be an active weather day here in Maryland. Uh, we have a stalled front across the area. That combined with the heat and humidity is producing big thunderstorms that are producing uh, large hail and gusty winds. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning still in effect for all the area shaded in yellow there till 645 this evening. And like we said at the top of the show, there's a flash flood warning in effect until 830 this evening for the eastern part of Baltimore County. They've just been getting hit really hard there with some torrential rains. All right, let's take a look at HD Doppler. There's a line of strong thunderstorms that extends from eastern Baltimore County down into Anne Arundel County. North of that is just a light to moderate rain. So if you're basically north and west of I-95, I don't think you have to worry about the severe weather, but uh, this is a strong thunderstorm here just east of Essex. Had some reports of hail up to a half inch in diameter uh, coming out of the Essex Dundalk area as the storm passed through here. Now, eventually it's going to slowly move over the water, but if you're watching in that part of Baltimore uh, County, you're going to see the heavy rain for at least the next, uh, I think, half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, this tail end of this uh, strong line of storms extends down just to the east of the airport through Glen Burnie and down west of Annapolis. This is also drifting to the east very slowly. So if you're watching anywhere up and down uh, 97 in that vicinity, you're going to see the very heavy rain and perhaps wind gusts uh, near 60 miles per hour and some large hail. Let's uh, expand the view a little bit and put this all into motion. And you can see how slow it's going. I mean, the, the progress is a little bit to the east, but it's not very fast. So these storms just lined up uh, I-95 right now. Now eventually they'll drift over towards the eastern shore. So if you're watching us over in the eastern shore and there's nothing going on at your house, uh, those storms will be heading over towards you probably in about an hour and a half or, or two hours. Again, north of that, it's just mostly light to moderate rain. As far as the temperatures go, of course, it's cooled off with the rain. Uh, 70s north and west of Baltimore, 74 in Sykesville, 75 in Randallstown, but it's still 90 in Centerville out ahead of that front. The front that's triggering all of this is actually stalled right across I-95, right where those thunderstorms are lined up. Now, the good news is by tomorrow it'll sink a little further to the south, so I think the chance for rain goes down on Sunday, but it's going to be active this evening. If you're going to be out, especially south and east of Baltimore, watch out for the big storms this evening, and then late tonight the sky will turn partly cloudy. During the day tomorrow, mixture of sunshine and clouds. We're going to put a 30% chance in for a shower or a thunderstorm, but it won't be like today. The high temperatures, upper 80s and low 90s. Seven day forecast looks like this. Uh, the heat comes back early next week, or the bigger heat. 95 for a high temperature on Monday with scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. Could be a few leftover storms on Tuesday with a high near 89, and then it turns a little cooler and less humid, I think, on Wednesday and Thursday.